Hey YouTube, I'm back with another deck profile video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a deck profile on one of my favorite decks from the G, from the Stride format, and it got some pretty good support in the Fighters Collection that introduced the G Guardians. So we'll get over, it. we'll go through the deck real quick, and then I'll talk about the Stride deck because I think the Stride deck is really the one that changed the most from uh, the shift to G Guardian, uh, and I'll go over. Um, basically how that's how that plays so the main deck still consists of the four Renoculus, Flower Maiden, Asha main vanguard you always want to try to ride this as the main vanguard uh, the backup is I'm still running Inez so she's the great three with Bloom um, I think she's a pretty good backup because if when, if you have forced to ride her uh, she can search for a Bloom card so she can search for any of the great two Blooms which would be Greenshot Elf, she can search Lilga or Katrina, which are grade ones, so Lilga being a perfect guard, uh, or she could search for the Stand Trigger Bloom, uh, Lizbeth. So I think this is not too bad, um, and there, the Stride deck was designed to try to keep the deck alive in the event that Asha, you can't stride her, or you can't ride this as the main grade three if you're stuck on Inez, and you can still play the game normally. Um, next we have for Ideal Maiden Thuria, she is one of the main, she's one of the grade 2 cards that allows you to get the critical for Inglorious Bloom Asha, uh, but uh, again, she's dependent on a Renoculus Vanguard, so if Inez is there, you kind of want to stride the uh, Asha, the Dream Spinning Asha, be able to make that live. Next, for Green Shot Elf, she's just really, really good, she's one of the best grade 2 cards right now for Neonectar. And then three, made in a flower screen. So I stuck with made in a flower screen as the extra grade two, just because uh, she essentially copies a card. Usually it's gonna be one of the bloom targets to help you get more bloom effects, whether it's Green Shot or Thuria, or not Thuria, or, or Katrina. And um, on top of that, she allows your uh, GB2 skill for Asha to be stronger, because you'll have more clone names and stuff like that. So it works pretty good with uh, other stride units as well. So like the Asha ones. Uh, next for grade ones, for Lilga, perfect guard. It's got bloom. It's really good uh, because it's searchable with Inez as the vanguard, um, and she's got a pretty okay effect. Uh, but it's not nearly as good as uh, Hope Angel in uh, Royal Paladin because with the, the brave effect because this one. Uh, you kind of have to put her on the field that turn and then use her uh, without being able to use her as a defender and then you have to like copy her to get her back to the hand. Now the other play that I've seen myself doing a lot is to just call her down then use the on stride dream spinning skill to clone her then that toggles the bloom that triggers the bloom effect then both of them come to my hand so I essentially search a perfect guard out that way so it's so pretty good combos with her in that regard which is why I prefer to run this over uh, Maiden of Passion Flower. Honestly, the deck, the Bloom uh, Neo Nectar deck is really not as counterblast heavy as the uh, the previous one, the one that relied on uh, Pia and Ozu and that stuff. Um, next, for we've got uh, Pure Maiden Katrina. This is definitely like one of the best cards. This is the most powerful Bloom card they've got. It's really, really good when you call two of these simultaneously. Uh, with Verano, and it's just like really nice. Uh, next, I'm running three Padmini uh, Stride Enabler. This is a Stride focused deck, GB2 deck. Uh, really important to run at least three copies of this, if not four. Uh, the problem is Katrina is more important, I feel, uh, than this because you do need to like cycle bloom effects and stuff like that throughout the match. Uh, and then I am running two Tomboy Elf. So Pia is no longer in the deck. Because Verano and a bunch of other things can send things back from the drop zone, like Flower Screen and Verano primarily, and because of that, as well as uh, Primavera. So because of that, uh, Pia's expensive sending two normal cards back into the deck isn't all that great right now, and with being able to bloom a lot, uh, it's not needed, I feel. So I, I like Tomboy Elf, because Tomboy Elf can actually... Uh, be used without GB1, so it's not a GB1 restricted card. Um, so I think it's pretty good at two copies. Two copies just so that you have the capability of potentially cloning it if one manages to be in the deck. 
So that's the reason why I'm not running just one copy and four pad mini, but you can do four pad mini and one of this uh, if you want. For the trigger lamp, it's completely the same. So for Lisbeth, it's Bloom, it's good. For uh, Millis, critical, it's Asha, critical. For Maiden of Zymorphothea, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Just run eight critical for stand. That seems to be the most optimal for this deck. And then uh, for heals. Uh, and then two Elmi. So I finally made the deck run two Elmi. And honestly, I wish I would have done it earlier because I feel now I find myself uh, cloning this quite a bit if Ash is the main vanguard and I do the on stride skill. And I tend to not have any rear guards uh, at the beginning, like when I first tried. So I can just clone this and then later on use this to cause a green shot elf to bloom or cause a Thuria. And then I like that it returns the grade 2 to the hand. So really nice starter. So I'm glad I'm running two of it now. I feel like the deck is better that way. Um, if I wasn't going to run two, I would definitely run four Padmini. For the stride deck, so here's where it got interesting. So three, Flower Princess of Perpetual Summer Verano. Um, she is really good. Uh, I like that she's not Ranoculus required, so you can use it with Inez as the Vanguard. However, the only problem is uh, her not being... Asha, or Vernaculus, rather, uh, doesn't doesn't mesh well with Thuria um, or Katrina. So just keep that in mind. Um, the deck is very dependent because of these two. The deck is very dependent on uh, a Vernaculus Vanguard, um, but otherwise, she's still a pretty good card. She can form some pretty big numbers with Katrina. Or Greenshot Elf. Greenshot Elf is actually more ideal if Asha is not the, in the heart. Uh, but if Asha is in the heart, then of course you'll be doing the huge Katrina plays. So, 3 Verano is really enough. You don't really want to run 4 of this because there's not enough space. Um, but I guess it's personal preference. I honestly feel like a lot of these GB or these, these Stride cards that came out in Fighters Collection are really 3 ofs. Like Bustard and this card and the Gear Chronicle one. A lot of them are really like optimal at three copies. Next, four Dream Spinning Ranoculus Asha. So up from two, I've, I've decided to get the other two because uh, I thought that it would be really good in the event that, especially in the event where uh, Asha is not the Vanguard. So you can stride over Inez. So now Ranoculus is there and you can then bloom with Katrina and all that stuff. And Thuria works this way. So. Definitely four of this is really good. This is also a really good stride unit in general. Probably one of the most versatile and useful ones for Neo Nectar. Then my one Inglorious Bloom, Renoculus Inglorious Bloom Asha. Really, she's a one of people who run two of this is too many. With G Guardians is not needed. Um, you'll only stride this usually second stride with Asha as a Vanguard or as in the heart, because then she'll flip up the Verano. Or this, but usually Verano is more ideal. So, unless you know you can like finish the game right there with that extra 5k. Uh, but next are my one ofs. Uh, one multivitamin dragon. I think I still feel multivitamin dragon is pretty good first stride, especially if Inez is the main vanguard and you don't have Thuria or Katrina that turn. You can set up with multivitamin and get some pretty big number power plays. Even uh, it's even better if Asha is the vanguard and you try to like rush the opponent down. You can try to go into multivitamin as first stride if you know you'll be able to stride the following turn. Um, otherwise, I usually find myself striding dream spinning first. But yeah, uh, multivitamin uh, and then one Arborea. Arborea is just the YOLO stride, the on hit stride. I'm just running one copy of it in here. Most people by now have probably taken it out, um, but. Uh, if I were to take it out, I'd run another uh, G Guardian, but it's just it's still kind of uh, pressures the opponent. You can clone whatever you can clone, uh, just whatever. Uh, it can it can potentially be strode in l later in the game if they somehow survive <clears throat> Verano, but uh, usually it w I won't need to do that, so I may take it out. But for right now, I just. I'm running it, and then I'm run, running one Primavera. Primavera can fix, like, 
really bad uh, early and mid games where you lost a lot of grade twos. And she can help you get extra attacks. So that's why she's still in here. Still good at one copy. Uh, and then two Sacred Tree Dragon, Jingle Flower Dragon. This one's probably a surprise to people. Jingle Flower is still pretty good. It can still hit some pretty nice big numbers. Uh, and it works with Bloom at, with Asha in the heart. Otherwise, it's a pretty good backup if you cannot stride uh, Glorious Bloom because Inez is the vanguard of that game. So this basically replaces your uh, Inez, or not, your um, your Glorious Bloom Asha turn. Um, otherwise, I would find myself striding Verano and flipping one Verano up to do the one Verano the first time and then call, stride Verano later to do the, get the double and flip up something else. Um, so there's just a little bit more flexibility there. And then for the G Guardians, I'm running two Sacred Tree Dragon, Rain Breath Dragon. So this is an okay, it's one of the okay uh, G Guardians. I wouldn't say it's one of the better ones. Like, I don't consider it as good as the Genesis one or the Gold Paladin one. Um, it's more kind of like there with uh, the Nova Grappler one and uh, the Kagero one, Kagero. It's sort of like that too. So it's, it's sort of like the middle tier in terms of the how good the G Guardians are from the Fires Collection. Uh, but Neonix will probably get something later, which will become an extra, a third one, I guess. And then the other G Guardian I'm running is the one Desmil, just because you need to protect your rear guards. So you can just use this early to protect a rear guard if they try to kill off a uh, green shot elf or something. And then, you know, it's also good against Dementia Police, uh, the cross, those type of things. So Desmil's pretty good still at one. Um, so that was it, guys. Let me know in the comments. Obviously, people are going to say, like they'd say, take out Arborea and put another uh, G Guardian in so you can have four G Guardians. I've already considered doing that, and I may actually do that because in the last three or four games that I played, I've found I've noticed that I never strode this at all. So, like, I'm more likely to stride multivitamin than this thing. So, um, I may take it out. We'll see. Although, it can be pretty good in Maiden of as well as, uh, not really Maiden of, but sort of Musketeers. I found myself using that a little bit compared to this. But anyway, guys, that's my Neo Nectar deck. Hope you guys enjoyed that deck profile video. This is probably one of my more favored uh, decks in the stride format because I like how huge numbers are and I'm not a big fan of Royal Paladin. Um, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that deck profile. And again, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.